My name is Sandra McDermott. I'm from St. John's, Newfoundland. I'm 46 years old and I have ulcerative colitis. Let's talk. I had lost a lot of weight, I was fatigued. I wasn't missing any time at work, but you know, certainly frequent trips to the bathroom. I would go 10 and 11 times a day, so they're wondering, you know, what's happening with me. And then when I started uh, to bleed, that's when I started to get concerned. And that's when I figured, oh, this is not stress. This is not a change in lifestyle or anything. This is, you know, something serious. You don't see the symptoms all the time, so it's so important to have a boss that's understanding. I think it's important that you have that discussion, that you know your rights, that you know what you can and can't say, or that it won't be held against you. I initially, you know, said, this is what I have and this is what it means. I think when you let people know, it gives them a sense that they know it's just not you're leaving your board or you know you're disrupting the workplace. I know my benefits, um, but I did go in and just have another look at them. You know what was the short-term disability, what they could ask me, uh, did I have to tell them that I had ulcerative colitis? I could um, take time if I needed to to get well, so then I could perform my duties and not for it to affect my career path. When you're going back to work after an illness, you go back with the intention of what you can do, not what you can't do. I didn't want to let the team down, I didn't want to be sick. It got me to look at all the positions that could come up, and then a new position did come up. It was four days a week, it was working from home, and I grabbed it. I think it's important that you balance your work and lifestyle with the ulcerative colitis. It's nice to have the flexibility that um, you can do work from home, you can telecommunicate, you can do conference calls, um, and for me it was easier to do my job. It's just so nice to be able to do your job, be able to still you know, be uh, in a career path. If I'm having a really stressful day, I know that that affects it, and that affects the next day that I'm trying to first take care of myself and make sure that I'm eating well and that I'm taking my medication and then the work comes into it. So it has to be, you know, a balance there. You can learn lots from other people, uh, you know, just how they cope with it and maybe you can, you know, use some of their techniques. You can live with this, you can have, uh, you know, medication, you can change your lifestyle and you can live a productive life. I can still do my job, it's just I do it a little differently.